What a perfect day for football we've got here. Alan Smith alongside me, Martin Tyler. Our football is from the EFL Championship in England. It's Walsall against Middlesbrough. I love visiting this ground. Rarely been disappointed with the entertainment on offer. Don't think I will be today either. Well, we know the qualities of this home team today, Alan, don't we? They're so strong defensively. Best defensive record in the league. And I think what makes this team so hard to beat is the fact that everybody works hard out of possession. It starts at the front with the strikers. And this is the lineup for the home side. So, Alan, 4 4 2? Yeah, I think it looks that way, Martin. Yes, it's the conventional shape, it's the one that the manager prefers. And this is the 11 that will take the field for Middlesbrough. Ryan Shotton starts with Dale Fry in defence. And they've got plenty of goal threat with two strikers in the attack. Thank you. Enjoy the game. Now the game has started. And it's the tackle that stops the attack here. Well, that's over the top of the defender and one to chase. Trying to pick out someone in the centre. It's not really a way, poor clearance. He has made the headlines this week, hasn't he, leading up to the game. He has announced officially now that this is his last season. Yeah, I think he would have thought long and hard about it. I thought maybe he had another 12 months or so at the top. But uh, no, he's decided and only he knows when the time is right. Guided through. In on the goalkeeper. Whether the goalkeeper, I think we must give him credit. Alan, he really put him off, didn't he? Yeah, he split himself, made the goal look small, but even so, what a howler. Let's check in with Alan McAnally at Huddersfield with some goal news. It's a goal for Sheffield Wednesday. 13 minutes played, 1-0. Thank you very much, Alan. Intercepted well. to Gordon still on the lovely ball very able to get his body in the way and that will end the threat at least for the moment that could be a booking here well decisive refereeing here he reached for the card straight away at that offence well, you could argue he's been a bit harsh there. Maybe uh, another ref would have just had a word instead of booking him. To Gordon. Just to let you know, the club shop is open after today's game. Would you like to get your ticket? Taking on the opposition and the responsibility as well. It was a chance to get through and score, and he's been fouled. He has produced the red card. Straight away, you knew he'd made up his mind, went for the pocket, no arguments. Sliding in and uh, taking his part in the game into a, a dangerous territory, really. Well, he is a forthright type of a character, and he doesn't hold back in those kind of challenges. Free kick on target, but not really troubling the goalkeeper. Johnson. Now Johnson. Out of play for a throw. Well, the team with the ball 
have got a problem now because the opposition are just sitting behind the ball and letting them pass in front. They've got to find some attacking players with some penetration in their passes. Just a bit lax in possession. This does look promising. Looking to attack it in the middle. The ball's loose. Goalkeeper made the save, but he couldn't hold it. Looking for a through ball. Tremendous goal, and we have got the first breakthrough now. Well, I do think they deserve that for the football they've played today. Some might say you'd prefer to score from 25 yards, but I wouldn't go along with that. This is all about instinct. So the first goal, it's 1-0. We've got some news of a goal from elsewhere. Alan McAnally. It's a second goal for Nottingham Forest. 35 minutes played, 2-0. Cheers, Alan. The visitors having lots of the ball. I do think they've got to find another gear or two. It has been too slow. They've been hesitant. Certainly haven't created enough chances, anywhere near enough. Gordon. Here's Hardy. A chance to break away now on the counter. Opposition slow to get back, so possibilities. He's going to try it. Good save by the keeper. Well, plenty of speed, but not much organisation. And the ball lost at a crucial time. Well, that's over the top of the defender and one to chase. And the referee looks to his assistant, who's got the flag up. It's offside. The fourth official has indicated three more minutes. Now Hardy. He tries to shot here. Oh, what a fine goal. They lead by two now. They'll feel a little bit more comfortable. And they're good value for this advantage at the moment. Oh, what a time to get a goal just before half-time. Their manager's team talks just changed a bit there. Restarting at 2-0. And the referee is blown for half-time. It's 2-0. Now the game... Has So the referee's happy, and the second half gets underway. Well, it was a foul, and he's given the free kick. Let's go over to Alan McAnally with a goal to tell us about at the Kirkley Stadium. It's a second goal for Sheffield Wednesday. It's been scored by Barry Bannon. The central defenders left each other and he nipped in to slot home. 48 minutes played, 2-0. Eagle eyes, as always, from Alan McAnally. Here's Hardy. To finish it off. Oh, what a touch by the defender. He was so quick to get into position, to get his body in the way there. Saw that coming and intercepted. That's a brilliant challenge. Middlesbrough's next game, Alan. They're playing Derby County in their next match in the Championship. And I think it's a one-goal game here either way. That could have been difficult, but the defender sorted it out. Now Hardy. Well, whether they're being forced back or whether they're just doing this as a tactic. It's hard to understand at the moment because they're just saying, well, you throw your punches at us and we'll ride them. Kept his concentration, the goalkeeper, and because of that, kept hold of the ball. Yeah, he seems to fill the goal, this lad. He's quite an imposing keeper. One or two options now in forward areas for them. Devlin, Gordon... Did well, stuck out a foot, and cut off the pass. 
We've got a moment to join Alan McAnally, who's watching the Leeds United game, and I believe there's been a goal in it, Alan. What can you tell us? It's a third goal for Leeds United. 67 minutes played, 3-1. Thanks, Alan. Well, we'll follow that with interest. They're looking for a hero here, this team. I think this is going to be kitchen sink time, Martin, now. Plenty of long balls into the box, trying to... He's going to try his luck. And the referee looks to his assistant, who's got the flag up, it's offside. Well, there's going to be an alteration now, and with the team trailing, you can understand why he's going to make it. Let's go over to Alan McAnally for news of the Birmingham City match. And Alan, I believe there's been a goal. It's a third goal for Norwich City. 73 minutes played, 3 0. Well, right on the spot there for that story, Alan McAnally, of course. Time ticking on, just over 15 minutes to go. Some players limbering up for the away team, substitution in the offing. I'm hearing that there has been a penalty awarded in another game. In fact, it's the game being watched by our man, Alan McAnally. It's a penalty for Nottingham Forest. A slight delay as the ref clears the defenders. Does he pick a spot? Probing the pass. He's going to try it! Well, now it looks like a question of just how many. They really are on top now, stretching the lead looking like the real winners of this match. Well, he's doubled up here with his second goal, and he took it in excellent style, just like the first one. Well, it's a tough game for the team that are trailing. They're out of the contest, really. They're just playing for pride. They're really being torn apart. A look at the watch, and that will tell you six minutes to go. Goal news coming in for you from the Reading game, and it's from Alan McAnally. Can tell us all about it, Alan. It's a goal for Charlton Athletic. Five minutes remaining. 1-1. One, one. Thank you very much, Alan. To Gordon. Interception hit. Well, they've decided to make a change. There's activity down there amongst the substitutes, and one will be coming on. That's the referee's decision. Added Two added minutes. Ryan Shotton. And the whistle's gone for the last time today. Well, it turned out to be a different kind of game to the one perhaps. Can we just grab a minute of your time for a few questions? No more questions. Sea todo el mundo bienvenido. Las preguntas comenzarán en breve. <tose> 